exalted on high. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we gather to celebrate the archangels, the archangels that are servants of grace and peace of our God, they enter our world to talk to us, giving us the healing, the protection, and the messages from God. As we gather in the glory of the angels, let us open our hearts and let us confess our sins so that we will be able to celebrate this Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you are light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fill us with eternal life, life of the angels, life of God. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gather us into the eternal light of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who, disposed in marvelous order, ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as their ministry perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth and its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in the heavens say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore, I rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm response can be found in the Gather Book, number 91. The Fragrance of Christ, number 91. We will sing refrain number two.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, He is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him and said, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. In the church year, we have three kind of celebrations. The biggest celebration we call a solemnity. And a solemnity is those things that are big celebrations, like the birth of Jesus, like Easter. Those are big celebrations. And then we have feasts. And feasts are celebrations that are big. Not big, but big. And a feast would be things that are important to our faith and they're wonderful celebrations. Today, we celebrate the feast of the archangels. And it is a feast. And so it's a big celebration. And then we have kind of littler celebrations. We call those memorials. And memorials are those celebrations that are important and part of our history and part of our church, but many times they're more important to a local church. So like when the feet, when the St. Mark, the evangelist, when his memorial day comes forth, It's a solemnity for us because we're named after him and he's our patron saint. But if you would go to Holy Name, they would have it as a simple celebration. So there's three celebrations. Solemnities, feasts, and memorial. And today, we celebrate feast. And the feast of the archangels. And guess what I have for it? little angels. Aren't they cute? So let me ask you some questions. Should I start with the tough one? Oh, let's start with the tough one. Oh, come on. Come on. A tough one. All right. Tough question. How many archangels are there? I never come over here. I'm going to come over here. How many archangels are there? Uh, Seven? Oh, you're right! How did you know that? Did someone tell you? Oh, that wasn't that hard of a question. There you go. There's seven of them. And do you know why the correlation of seven is? I'm going to just tell you this one. The days of the week. So there's seven days of creation. There's seven days of the week. There are seven archangels. All right, are you ready for the next one? How many of the seven archangels are in our Bible? How many? Are all seven mentioned in the Bible? Ooh, look at this, a patriotic one. Red, white, and blue. Four? Not four. Two? Not two. 
Seven? Not seven. One? Not just one. Okay, you guys are running out of them. You only have two left. Five? Nope, one more left. Oh, who's going to do it? <laughs> Six. Oh, no. All right, now there's one more left. Which one did we say? Three. Uh-huh, it's three. How did you know? Yes. It's three. All right. And so... A green one. Ooh, a green one. A green one. A green one. Should I keep this one for myself? Green. All right. What are the three archangels in the Bible? You gonna try it? No, it's hard, I know. You gonna try it? All right, here we go. Um. Okay. You gonna try it? All right. Uh. All right. Whenever in doubt, we go to the eighth graders. We're going to the eighth graders. Because they know everything. Um, St. Michael, St. Raphael, and St. Gabriel. Yes! There you go. See, I told you. All right. Hmm. A blue one. Ooh, a blue one. Ooh. Okay, each of the archangels have a job. And Archangel Michael has a job. What's his job? What's his job? Do you know his job? To make people kind? Yeah, but it's got to be a little more. They all do that. To protect God. He's the protector. Yes, absolutely. Are you ready for the next one? Gabriel, Gabriel, what is Gabriel? Gabriel is the angel of what? Look at this, I got a red one. You ready? Maybe. All right, maybe. What is it? I forget. You forget. Messenger? Yes, he's the messenger. Oh, this has to, a pink. A pink. Can you believe it? It's pink. It's pink. Okay, so which angel do we have left? Archangel that says mission. What is it? Raphael. What's Raphael's mission? Healer. Yes. There you go. You guys are good. Now, when angels were created, they were created purely by God, like us. And they have a conscience like us. They have a free will like us. But they are always, always alive. An angel doesn't die because an angel doesn't have what we have. So when you and I go to heaven, God doesn't turn us into angels. Because God has made us in his own image. And God's not an angel. God gave us as human beings an incredible gift. He loved so much that he made us in his image. And when we know that we are created in his image, why would we want to be an angel when we could be in God's image. So when we go to heaven, we are who we are in the glory of Jesus. And if we want to figure out what we're going to look like and be, that would be 
Jesus' resurrection. When Jesus came back after his death and he is risen, that's the image that God's going to bless each of us when we go to heaven and see him. I don't think I'm going to have wings, but I'm going to have the glory of God and be made in the image of God. All right, one last question. Well, I have to ask the question first. How many times does Archangel Gabriel appear in the New Testament? And this time, I think we're going to do a candy bar. So how many times? How many times? Five. No, that's a little too busy for him. A little too busy. A little too busy. He would have had no time in heaven. You want to try again? How many times? Three. Three? No, that's still too many. Two? Yes, it's two. And who did he appear to in Luke's gospel? Oh, 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 who, who, who? Let's see if I have any angels left. Oh, I do. All right. Who do you appear to in Luke's gospel? Who was the person? One of them you can name. There's two of them. Who's the first one? God. No, he was always with God. Raphael. Raphael, no, they might have had dinner up in heaven, but no. Appears to Mary. He appears to Mary, yes, yes. And then who does he appear to? Let's see if we have another angel. Oh, we do a multicolored angel. Who else does he appear to? Joseph. Joseph. Oh, I don't know if they mention him. We, oh, that's a, oh, I have to give it to you. Maybe I do. I wasn't thinking of Joseph because that's in Matthew's gospel. We're, got, we're at Luke's. Pink, purple. Who's the last one? Last one. Who does he appear to? Who does he talk to? He's in the temple praying and he gets talked to. Elizabeth? What? Elizabeth? No, you're close. You're close. Jesus? No. Zachariah? Zachariah, yes, he appears to John the Baptist's father. There you go. You guys are good. And I'm all out of angels, so we're done. Thank you. And now let us stand and bring our needs before the goodness of the Lord. For all our leaders of our holy church, for Francis our Pope, and for all our bishops, priests, and deacons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that we would serve others in all that we do and work together to love others as Christ loved us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, suffering, or, or in any kinds of danger, that they would experience the healing power of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for our blessings in our lives, especially our families, friends, and school communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who have died, especially for Donna Deegan, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own needs and intentions that we now recall in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, on this feast of your archangels, open us to the wonder of your love. May we follow Christ that one day we may know that glory of the angels. We may know your glory. We may be with you forever. We ask this and all our needs through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Please join in singing our, our gifts song, found in your Spirit and Songbook, number 386. Here I am to worship, number 386 in the Spirit and Song, also found on your song sheets. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor you pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight rebounds to you our surprisingly glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels exalt your majesty, and you and we are united with them in exalted adoration. As with one voice of praise, we acclaim.
earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a perfect sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ may make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Mark and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis our Pope, and Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, 
Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion hymn found in your spirit and song book number 417, Sweet Redeemer, number 417 in the spirit and song book.
Let us pray. <coughs> Having been nourished with this heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing from your spirit in song number 384, forever. Number 384.